from 1 to 5 I read is the psalm of David I will extol thee O Lord for thou hast lifted me up and has not made my foes to rejoice over me O Lord my God I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me Lord thou hast brought up my soul from the grave thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endured but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 7. The church is marching on in the name of Jesus. I read from verse 11, Luke chapter 7, 11 to 17, please. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now when they came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out the only son of his mother and she was a widow and most people of the city was with, the, with her and when the Lord saw her he, was com he had compassion on her and said unto her weep not God is telling somebody weep not tonight Amen verse 14 and he came and touched her and, and touch the, the bear and they that bear him stood still and he said young man I say unto thee arise and he that was dead sat up and began to speak and he delivered him to his mother and there came a fear on all and they glorified God saying that a great prophet is risen up among us and that God has visited his people and this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea and throughout all the region round about that is the story of Jesus raising the, the son of the widow of Nain weep not Weep not. Whatever made you to be crying, whatever made you to lose hope in your life tonight, God is taking care of it in the name of Jesus. I say, weep not. Hope is not lost. God is in control. Weep not. God is in charge of the universe. He that created the universe cannot now, the universe cannot be greater than him that created it. Issues are taking place in the world. There's hunger everywhere. Naira is crashing, crashing on a daily basis. This morning, one dollar was equal to 1,200 Naira. What a mess. What a story. What an embarrassment. What a shame. No matter what is happening, the word of God says, weep not. Weep not. Look at your neighbor's face and say, neighbor, weep not. Jesus is in charge of the universe. And he will not sublet that authority to anyone is in charge. So when he says weep not, it means weep not. Nothing will overpower you in this world in the name of Jesus. Nothing will make you regret coming to life at this time in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will make you, make you feel useless and hopeless in your life anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. The reason Jesus came, Jesus came because of you. And you will enjoy the benefit of Jesus' ministry to this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Weeping may endure for a night. There are nights of weeping and gnashing of teeth, of crying and regret, frustration, oppression, subjugation, embarrassment, retrogression. There are long nights. Many people have experienced it. Very long nights. You feel as if one night is more than 10 years. 
they, they just refuse to break. Fear grips the people during the night. Distress, oppression, frustration, regret. Oh, if I had known, I would not have done this. If I had known, I would not have done that. If I had known, I would, you just regret. You just regret. You just blame yourself. You blame everybody. You blame your father. Why did they send me to political school? You blame your mother. She's the one that said you should not marry at the time you wanted to marry. You blame everybody. You get so angry with everybody. You get so upset. Nothing is working. You fail your exam. You are so annoyed with the exam. So annoyed with your principal. So annoyed with everybody. And you, 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 everybody call you stupid. You fail to know anything. Your brain just refuses to walk. And you are angry with everybody. You are angry with yourself. You cry. And the night just refuses to break into the day. The night may be long, brother. The day may be tough, sister. But one thing is certain that God is in charge of the universe. This is our God is in charge of the universe and he will dare he will dare not let anybody run the universe for him god is in charge of the universe this god is in charge of the universe he will not dare allow somebody to run the world for him hallelujah he will settle your case tonight not tomorrow tonight the lord will settle your case Hey, say, tonight is my night. He will settle your case tonight. This our God is not going to postpone your story. Tonight, your case will be settled. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Glory, glory, glory. I say, joy comes in the morning. The night has passed. The morning has come. The time of pain is over. The time of shame is over. The time of frustration is over. The morning has come. The morning of joy. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. No more regret, no more frustration, no more oppression, no more depression, no more subjugation, no more embarrassment, no more retrogression. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hope may have been lost, but not with God. The widow, that woman lost her husband. It wasn't up to a year, the son died. Her situation was hopeless. She had nobody to go and meet. They were doing the obituary, the procession, burial procession, taking the boy to his, the cave, the grave, where his bones will get rotten. Ah, it can never be too late with God. Amen. I would have gone to teacher training college that time I was still seven years old. Yes, now you are 35. It's still not too late. It can never be too late with God. The hope was lost. The people of the village, they were crying hopelessly. They were trying to console this woman. This woman was inconsolable because she had lost her only son after losing her husband she had nobody in this world anymore then she had jesus i don't know how bad your situation is brother you still have jesus god has not left you i say god has not left you this god has not left you and he will never leave you hebrews 13 verse 5 he said i will never leave you nor forsake you your father may forsake you god will never leave you your mother may forsake you but god will never leave you your classmate may hate you and ignore you god will never leave you your contemporaries may jealous you but god will never leave you people may talk bad about you but god will never leave you god is for you tell your neighbor god is for me ah, tell somebody god is for me and the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, 31, If God be for me, who can be against me? Can sickness be against me? Can pain be against me? Can shame be against me? If God be for me, nobody can be against you. Nothing can be against you. Tell yourself, God is for me. Shout it with the loudest energy you have in your system. Say, God is for me. Somebody shout, God is for me. No one can be against me. In the name of 
of Jesus. God is for me. God is for me. Hallelujah. Your uncle may not like you, but God is for you. Your teacher may not like you, but God is for you. Your classmate may not like you, but God is for you. Hallelujah. Even your father may not like you, but God is for you. If God be for me, who can be against me? Nobody. Nothing. No power. No spirit. No demon. No witch. No wizard. Tonight is the night of your freedom. Bondages and cleavages shall, shall, they shall flee from you. They will know that you are a child of God. They will flee from you tonight. In the name of Jesus. I want to take you to just a simple method so that you can, you can break this down. Just seven simple points to know that in the midst of tears, even when your tears are flowing like a river, that God is around. No matter what they say is wrong with you. Even if they say all oh, the witches and wizards have meeting and they plan to kill you tonight. I say God is for you. It doesn't matter how you are feeling. Your head may be aching and people are dancing on top of your brain. Tonight, you are going to receive the peace that comes from the throne of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how long the sickness has been there. Your brain may be doing migraine. It does not even matter how you are shivering. It, it could have been typhoid. It could have been any sickness. It doesn't matter. The name of the sickness does not matter with God. One thing is clear that with God is a healer. And tonight there's healing in this house. There's healing for everyone that cares to receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Seven points. How do we go about this? Number one. Weeping or depression or frustration or oppression or subjugation whatever name you want to call it is common to man you are not the first person a lot of people cry at home at night in the morning they rub out down their faces and they burn themselves and go to work so don't be a fool crying in the night and crying in the day you think uh, my condition is so bad oh nobody's condition is as bad you are joking you are joking. I have not eaten for three days. People that have not eaten for one month, they are still around. Somebody that doesn't even have shoes to wear. The person that does not even have leg to put shoe is around. You have leg. It's only shoe you didn't have. What of the people that didn't have leg? Ah, I don't have money to pay my school fees. Ah, your own is only school fees. What of the person that doesn't even know where school is located? less of to go I have not done primary two you are only have done the S2 sir so, trials oppression frustration is common to man can you a man what you are facing through right now is very common Jesus told them John 16 33 in the world you shall see tribulation ah uh, ah uh, from the mouth of the master, tribulation, oppression, depression, frustration, sicknesses, diseases, death. He told them, he said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. The Bible says, there is no situation that is oppressing you which is not common to man. Ah, I say, Pastor, you don't understand. You don't understand what I'm passing through, Oga. God understands it better. God says it's a very common thing. That thing you are facing now is common. Nigeria is not the first country that their currency has crashed. Brazil currency crashed before. Many countries, their currency crashed before. You don't have a job. You are not the first person that doesn't have a job. So many people didn't have a job. But somehow God made a way for them. Oh, so I'm supposed to be married by now. A lot of people would have loved to be married, but they are not married. Anyhow, anyhow, God begin to arrange for their own Mr. Mr. Wright and Ms. Mrs. Wright to appear. Everything you are passing through, I tell you the truth in God, is common to man. Don't kill yourself because of a common problem. I see people jumping into Ted Milan Beach to die. Why? They didn't get a job. A job you can get in one day. One day! How many days do you used to get a job? Just one day. Just to cry before God and say, God, this is my CV. Arrange my footsteps to fall in line with the place where my job is placed. 
and you consistently trust God before you know what is happening the job appears why should you kill yourself and go to hell for a job you'll get in one day trusting God it's common to man unemployment is common in Africa Nigeria has almost 45% of unemployment rate among the youth that has to say 45% of among 100 youths don't have a job a paying job a job that they can consistently collect their salaries it's not new so don't don't give yourself stress because of a common problem can you tell me a problem that is not common what problem that is not common HIV AIDS people have had HIV AIDS in fact now they don't even cry because there's a retroviral drug that they will take and they cannot transmit the AIDS to any other person and they can still live their life to fullness what is the problem that you are having that you think is the biggest problem in this world can we just check ourselves there's no problem that's big so big so big ah there's no food in your house there's no food in your house you want to kill yourself for what food when you didn't have a job were you not eating when you did not have a job you were eating now you have a job you say the pay is not good enough you want to kill yourself for what it means you don't understand your time and seasons every problem somebody say come on to man say it loud say come on to man every condition you're facing now is common to man weep not don't kill yourself you are having just a very common problem ah indomie price has increased go and check people are still eating indomie morning afternoon and night go and check just stroll on the road see they are roasting indomie so you can see that yeah prices of things have increased people are still eating show me a man that didn't eat for three days not because he was fasting but because there was no food nobody with god there's something we call benevolence benevolence is like passing through the wilderness god makes sure while you are passing through the wilderness man i will fall for you morning and evening i've never seen god feeding any man three times a day so nobody god only fed every human being he fed twice a day so you better go to bible and learn and learn economics your problem is common to one pastor you don't understand what i'm facing okay it's a very common problem what you are facing now is common touch somebody say sister hey your problem is a common problem i say your problem i say touch somebody tell somebody something your problem is a common problem don't think that you have a problem if your problem is common like pure water why do you think you have anything special you have nothing special nothing it's common your problem is common hello hello did you hear that i say your problem is a common problem no food is a common problem no shoe is a common problem oh you didn't pay your house rent go and ask the landlord i went to court the other day i went to court as a landlord i went to court taking my tenants to court i saw some landlords in court that some of their tenants are owing them 10 million 17 million you are only, only 200,000 you want to kill yourself for what <laughs> tell your neighbor your problem is a common problem i say your problem is a common problem hallelujah psalm 34 verse 19 the bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous hello so righteous do have afflictions many not just one many are the afflictions of the righteous but one thing you know the difference between the righteous and the the, the, the unrighteous is that god delivers the righteous from all his afflictions hallelujah but the affliction is common proverbs 24 verse 16 the bible says a righteous man falls seven times but rises up again hallelujah oh ah, there's good news for somebody it doesn't matter how oh, say i'm falling i don't know if i'll rise again as long as you are staying with god you will rise again tell your neighbor you will rise again you, you lost your job you get a better job 
A righteous man falls seven times as he falls in every department of life. Anytime you see seven in the Greek Bible, it means all departments of life. He falls in marriage, he fails in office, he fails in children upbringing, he fails in business, he fails all around. But he rises up again. Hallelujah. Can we continue? Number two, encourage yourself in the Lord. When seem as if things are not hard, sometimes you may be heartbroken. Sometimes you may not be able to pray. Sometimes it may just be as if the door is locked against you. You are trying to come to church, people are saying, you are thinking, what is making these people happy? What's making them so excited? This is a president who is jumping up and down, dancing. Why? Is he not feeling the pain of this economy? Is he, where, where is he getting his own extra uh, payment from? I mean, everybody is sad. Why is he so happy? If you go read Psalm 42, see what David was doing. Every time David felt that way, he would pump himself. He would stop praying to God and start talking to himself. Soliloquy. He would begin to speak to himself. My soul, wake up and praise the Lord. Say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, all the fibers in my body, my leg, my hand, my shoe, everything. Bless His holy name. Psalm 42, verse 11 says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted in me? Wake up and praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes you need to talk to yourself to push yourself to wake up to push yourself to praise god because it's not praising god it's not every time your body wants to praise god you need to encourage yourself first samuel chapter 30 we know the story of david and the people that he went to war with and when they came back they have kidnapped their wives and their children and the people were even angry with him and wanted to kill him everybody was still so tired nobody wanted to go back to war the Bible says, David, 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Hallelujah. For you to praise God and for your praise to be acceptable to God, for you to pray to God and for your praise, prayer, uh, praise to be acceptable to God, you need to charge and motivate yourself enough so that you can praise God with joy. You know the Bible says something. It says, with joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. Hallelujah. So you, you don't just go pray God with sorrow. You first talk to your blood. You first talk to your body and say, wake up. Why are you so sad, my soul? Why are you so sad? You are not the first person that has lost a job. After all, there's not, that's not the only job in Nigeria. There are other millions of jobs. You still get another job. Come on. Go praise. Give praise to the one that knows where the jobs are and is going to give you a new job. Wake up and praise God. By the time you talk to yourself, you talk to yourself, you talk to yourself. You see, your body will now receive new life and you are able to praise God and worship. Before you know what is happening, there's a testimony. There's a new job. Hallelujah. No, we sing that song. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. It's not a prayer to God. Oh, oh, oh my soul. It's not a prayer to God. It's for your body to wake up and get ready for praise. Hallelujah. So, sir, you, that one is you, you that have to do that job. You that have to do that job. The, you know, uh, Apostle Paul was writing in the book of Romans chapter 8, 39. He said, what can separate us from the love of God? Is it job? Is it marriage? Is it children? Is it what? What? He said, neither principalities or powers or life or death can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. So, if nothing will separate you from the love of God, encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Encourage yourself in the Lord. That's our second point. Number three, God is for you. Somebody say, God is for me. Shout it and say, God is for me. The reason God is God in heaven is because you are on earth. God is for you. May that God work for you. 
May that God open doors for you. May that God take you to new heights. May the Lord take you to new glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say God is for you. Shout it aloud. God is for me. <laughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the Bible says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil to give you a future full of hope. So God has a plan for you. Tell your neighbor, God has a plan for me. He said, I know the thoughts I think towards you. You're trying to be a mechanic. God wants you to be an engineer. You're trying to clean the road. God wants you to be an operator. I mean, God has a plan for you. He said, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil to give you a future full of hope. Hallelujah. May the plan of God for your life come to maturation in the name of Jesus. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11 28. God said, I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Come unto me, all ye that labor. Come unto me, all ye that labor. It doesn't matter how you've been suffering. It doesn't matter the pressure you are under. It doesn't matter the challenges you are facing. It doesn't matter the opposition working against you. The promise of God is that God says He wants to give you rest. Amen. I say God wants to give you rest. May the Lord give you that rest. May you enjoy God's rest in the name of Jesus Christ. May you enjoy the rest of God in the name of Jesus. May you enjoy the blessing and the glory God is bringing your way in the name of Jesus. I say God is for you. God is for you. God is for you. Psalm 3 verse 3 and 4. He said, my glory and the lifter of my head. Ha <laughs> ha. That's God. So David said, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he hid me, and he delivered me from the pit wherein there was no water. May the Lord be your glory. May the Lord be the lifter of your head. Can I have a living amen now? May the Lord be your glory. May the Lord be the lifter of your head. May the Lord speak peace to your life. May the Lord show you the way to your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that seemed difficult in your life, may the Lord turn it around. I say God will turn it around. Oh, when the Lord shall turn the captivity, we will be like they that dream. God is turning somebody's captivity tonight. I say God is turning somebody's captivity tonight in the name of Jesus. God is turning somebody's captivity this night, this night, this night, this night, not tomorrow, this night. And it is your captivity God is turning. Yeah, that captivity, you, you wake up tomorrow morning, you will not find it anymore in Jesus' name. So you will wake up with a text message on your phone to uh, present yourself for an interview for a brand new job. Hallelujah. Somebody's captivity is ending tonight. Somebody's captivity is ending tonight. Somebody's captivity is ending this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Psalm 9 verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in the times of trouble. Refuge is a hiding place. The Lord will be your hiding place. In the time of trial, in the time of suffering, in the time of pain. Can I hear somebody say amen now? Number four, prayer. Tell your neighbor, prayer, 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 prayer. You can't do without this one. Prayer. The Bible says, Psalm 34 verse 17. He said, the righteous cry. And the Lord heard them. And the Lord made a way for them. He's talking about prayer. He's talking about prayer. If you can remember to pray when you have a problem, don't be like Jonah. Jonah was having an issue of disobedience with God. He never bothered to pray until God took him and allowed the fish to swallow him. It was in the belly of the fish. Jonah started to thank God. He started to pray prayer of thanksgiving. May your story not be like the story of Jonah in Jesus' name. Prayer! Prayer! 
Psalm 50, verse 14 and 15. He said, Call upon me in the days of trials, and I will answer you, and you will glorify me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. He said, Be careful for nothing. Stop being anxious. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. Prayer, 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 prayer. First Peter chapter 5, verse 6. They cast your burden upon him for he cares for you. God cares for you. Amen. So when we come to prayer, we are casting our burdens. We are casting our burdens. We are telling God our challenges, our problems, our depression, our frustrations. Sir, the truth is, the economy is hard. If you are waiting for the economy to improve before you marry wife, I'm sorry, you will die a bachelor. Because this economy, it will only take the grace of God to improve. But God can enter into your personal economy and change it overnight. But the economy of Nigeria, I am not sure. As long as we have two pious men in power, I don't expect any difference. Call upon me and I will answer you. And you will glorify me. God is begging you to pray. He's begging you to pray. He said, pray. He said, pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. He said, call unto me and I will answer and show you those things which thou knowest not of. Divine secrets. The places you need to go. The place you need to apply. The job you need to do. The training you need to undergo. Call unto me. I will show you things that you know not of. You don't need to be a copycat trying to copy what other people are doing. For you, there's a specific plan of God. There's a specific arrangement. Divine arrangement. That God has arranged for you. Somebody say prayer. If you don't call on to God, there's no revelation. Without prayer, there's no revelation. Without prayer, there's no definition of a root. Without prayer, there's no hope of survival. Prayer is God's secret for tomorrow. You want to enjoy tomorrow? Prayer. Somebody say prayer. Everybody say prayer, 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 prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Number five, change your thoughts. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, verse 7, part B. Many of us, because our grandfather died at the age of 25, we are planning to die at the age of 25. Many of us, because we know 10 of our classmates, they have never had a job since they were graduated from university. We, our mind is beginning to think that our case will be like that. Change your mentality and change your life. The Bible has told us what to do. Philippians 4 verse 8. He said, think of these things. Whatsoever thing that is of good report, whatsoever thing that has virtue, whatsoever thing that is good, whatsoever thing that will glorify the name of God, think of this thing. Wouldn't it be a testimony that within, you started looking for work, within one month, you've gotten a job. Wouldn't that be a good story? Think of those things. God has a plan for you. So don't play. God has a plan for you. Touch your chest again. Say, I'm helping you to just talk to yourself to help change your mentality. Say, God has a plan for me. I am not a failure. I am a success. Say it louder. I am a success. That the devil is trying to make a failure. I am a rich man. That the, the, the devil is trying to make poor. I'm a blessing. That the devil is trying to turn into a curse. I am a success. I am a success. A good success. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number six, patience. 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 You cannot be born on Monday and on Tuesday you are a graduate. It takes a process. It will take a process. Where you are now, your income is just 5,000 naira a month. You cannot just sleep, have a nice sleep and wake up and tomorrow your salary becomes 200,000 a month. It will take a process. It will take some training. It will take some acquisition of knowledge. It will take some practice. 
Somebody say patience. Everybody say patience. Psalm 40, I want to read from verse 1. Psalm 40. You just need to understand this. And then you see how easy life will be for you. You see how easy you don't need to stress or cry before you eat. You see the progress you'll be making in your life and the way everybody will think that you are assistant to God because things will work for you. Psalm 40 from verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also of a horrible pit and out of the clay he set my feet upon the rock and established my goings and he had put a new song in my mouth even praise unto our God many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord somebody say patience everybody say patience Isaiah 64 verse 4 Isaiah 64 verse 4 The Bible says Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard Neither has it entered into The heart of men The things that God has in store For them that wait For him Wait for God God has his own time, time. You cannot wake up today and say, Tomorrow I must be a millionaire, I must be a millionaire, 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 million, million, come now, now, God will look at you and laugh. To be a millionaire, you need some skills. You need to have what you are doing. You need to add value to the lives of people. What are you supplying? What skill are you bringing to the table? There's a time to go learning some skills. Then you begin to practice them. Time! So time is elapsing. We call it patience. You know, in agriculture, we call it gestation period. From the time you put your seed into the ground and the time you come to harvest your crop. It doesn't happen the next day. It depends on the kind of seed you want to plant and the kind of crop you want to reap. If you are planting corn, if it is IITA corn, it will take now 78 days before it was 90 days thank god for improvement in science 78 days you have to wait tell your neighbor wait patience so it is that time you are waiting that we call patience amen hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 the bible says take a picture of the people that have gone ahead of you who through faith and patience obtain the promise only faith cannot obtain the promise Faith and patience. God told Abraham he will have a son. Did he have a son the next day? No. 25 years. Patience. You'll be a billionaire. You need some training. You need to know how to do some skills. It takes time to learn those skills. And practice them to the point of perfection. Somebody say patience. Hey, somebody say patience. Eyes have not seen. You can have 10 aeroplanes in this world. God has promised. Ears have not heard. You can be the next director of Microsoft. But patience. The things God has in stock for them that wait for him. You got to wait for God. God has a plan for you. Hallelujah. I say God has a plan for you. You are not a failure. God has a plan for you. And God will surely fulfill the plan that he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has a plan for everyone. Those who are suffering are those that have refused to walk in the God's plan. Why do we have armed robbers? They don't, they don't need patience. They need their money today, today. They need the money today. That's why they carry God and go to the street to keep people and collect their money. But to have money the God's way, you need what? Patience. You need to undergo training. You need to go through practice. You need to acquire skills. You need to have some talents, develop some talents. And then you begin to implement them. Step by step, God will be taking you higher. Can I hear somebody say amen? No need to cry, brother. There's no need to weep. Weep not! 
God is on the throne. Ah, we need to start praying. We need to start praying. Okay, let me just drop one or two points. Then we start praying. You will break out of that dryness in Jesus' name. That dryness will not last forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Last point, number seven. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6. He said, present your thought before the Lord and He will direct your path. In all His ways, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. Because we believe God will do it. So let's hold on to Him to do it. This right out of the Psalm, Psalm 24, Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 23, verse 4. You know, these are Psalms that we need to look at and see our life. God open new chapters to us because he want to take us far. Verse 4 say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I don't know whether you have really tried to understand what thy rod and thy staff challenges opposition it's like a ship trying to cross the road and the manager know that if the ship try to cross the road the car the onrushing vehicles will destroy the, the ship so he take a big rod and hit the ship Ooh. so that the ship will turn back and not cross the road that rod is painful to the ship somebody say the rod everybody say the rod it's painful to the ship bro, but it didn't kill the ship is a rod of correction. Am I talking to somebody here? If they did not apply that rod, that ship would have died. The onrushing trailer would have crushed the, the ship to death. So the, the full army headsman need to apply the rod so that the ship would not go and die. And hit the ship. Oh! And the ship now turned back. Okay. Thy rod and thy staff. <laughs> David say comfort. He's not actually comfort in the sense which you know comfort. <laughs> it's punishment. A lighter punishment rather than death. A lighter punishment to bring you out of the wrong path. Some of your friends are telling you, let's go and smoke it, bow, and you follow them to that place. They arrested two people, and you were the first person to be arrested. Your first day of going to smoke it, bow. Road of correction. They throw you in jail. At least for seven days, and you need to look for fifty thousand to bail yourself. That's the rod. Rather than you backsliding, collect the rod. Do we understand what I'm trying to say now? Yeah, it was my first time. It is true, it was your first time. But you are too precious in God's sight to begin to smoke Igbo and drink Okogoro. They arrest you. Or you are trying to dodge for your pastor, you go and pour down somebody Ururu. You pour down somebody vegetable oil. And they say this vegetable oil, the one you have poured is 2005. And you didn't have one naira in your pocket. The rod of correction. To help you to come out of that wickedness and stay on the path of righteousness. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The moment you allow that rod to comfort you, the next thing is testimony he set up a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over hallelujah patience patience don't rush you are not an arm robber you say i need my money this night no 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 don't rush everybody may be having a job you may not be having a job just relax continue worshiping continue praising god your job will be better than all the jobs of the people that you know can I have an amen now? Hallelujah! We got to pray tonight. God told Joshua, Have I not commanded you? Joshua 1 verse 9. To be courageous. Do not be dismayed. Do not be afraid. You are walking in the faith and victory. Hallelujah. Close your Bible and be upstanding. 
if you take a few minutes in prayer i just want you to know that god is working out something for you god wants you to be a, a glorious child god wants you to have a powerful testimony god wants you to walk this world in white god wants you to say indeed i have seen the goodness of god in my life i have experienced the blessings of god i have walked through the tongues and the tissues and i can feel the presence and the power of god he picked me up from the miracle he set my feet on the rock to stay it's my glory ah and the lifter of my head hallelujah glory be to god take your position of prayer just begin to remember all the things god has done for you this year begin to remember begin to remember begin to remember begin to remember my glory and the lifter of my head my glory and the lifter of my head for thou o lord i shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head my glory and the lifter of my head come on my glory and the lifter of my head hallelujah my glory and the lifter of my head for thou o lord i shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head my glory and the lifter of my head I cried unto the Lord with my voice. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. And he heard me. And he delivered me. It's my glory and the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. My glory and the lifter of my head. Oh, for thou, O Lord, I see for me. My glory and the lifter of my head. Is my glory and the lifter of my head. Is my glory and the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. My glory and the lifter of my head. For thou, O Lord, I see for me. My glory and the lifter of my head. My glory and the lifter of my head. Hey! I cry unto the Lord with my God. I cry unto the Lord with my God. Whatever the issue, begin to talk to him. He is your glory, is the lifter of your head. He will not allow your head to bow down in shame. He will not allow your enemy to trample upon you. He will not allow you to be an, 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 an embodiment of disgrace. You will not be an object of caricature. This God is going to succor you. This God is going to provide for you. This God is going to protect you. This God is going to direct you. This God is going to supply all your needs. Oh, the writer of the book of Philippians said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Everybody pray, everybody pray. The Lord is on your side. Somebody, somebody, somebody pray. Oh, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Yes, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. In verse 19, he says, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Somebody pray now. Oh, God just wanted to be bold. God said, Be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. With us, whoever you have go west. Be bold. Be strong. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord God Almighty, arise. Arise on my behalf. Let my name be mentioned in heaven. Right now, arise on my behalf. Tell God exactly what you need. You need a job. What do you need? You need a wife. What do you need? You need an open door. What do you need? You need a breakthrough. What do you need? You need success. What do you need? You need a new business. Talk to him now. God is available. He's as close as the nation of his name. Open your mouth and begin to talk to him. And say, Lord, give me a new business. Lord, oh, give me favor. Before men, before we, before men, before you. I want to have favor before you. Set up a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Oh, God, let my cup run over. In the name of Jesus. Those people that hated me before, let them know that God is now with me. Let them know that God is now with me. And God is for me. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, don't allow the devil to let you become an element of caricature. You cannot be tired under this kind of atmosphere. Open your mouth and talk to God and say, Lord, arise and let my enemy be discouraged.
scattered. Arise, set me free. Yes, yeah, set me free from the pit where in there is no water. Somebody talk to God and say, Lord, arise. And Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Lord, arise. Set me free, Lord. Set me free. 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 Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. And say, Lord, show yourself strong on my behalf. Show yourself strong on my behalf. Do for me that thing that my father cannot do. Do for me that thing that my mother cannot do. Do for me that thing that the people will not understand. Oh, Lord, show up on my behalf. Oh, Lord, show up on my behalf. Cry to God right now. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. And he helped me. And he delivered me from the pit where in there was no water. Somebody cry to the Lord now. Everybody cry to the Lord now. And look up to him. They look up to him. And they were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. Say, God, I will look unto you. I don't mind what the enemy will do to me. I will ignore all of them and look up to you. You are my rising star. You are my son. You are my shield. You are my very portion in this world. Oh God, I look to you. I will look to you. I will look to you, God. I will look to you, God. My God, my God, my God. I will look to you, my father. I will look to you. I will look to you. I will look to you. Oh Lord, let your neighbor pray better than you. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, you are my glory. You are the lifter of my head. You are my song. You are my shield. You are my glory. You are my everything. You are everything I have now. You are everything I will ever have. Oh, God. Yes, Lord, the strength in my bones, it was you that gave it to me. Lord, the wisdom that I have now, it was you that gave it to me. There is nothing I have now that I was not given. You, are, you gave me everything. You love me so much. You helped me so much. You have been my protector. You have been my director. You have been my everything. Father, you continue to be my everything. My eyes are on you. Ah, my trust is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let the weak say, I am strong. I am strong. I'm not weak. I am strong. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to just make some confessions now before we close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand above your head and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for today. I am the light of the world. As long as I am in this world, I am the light of the world. I decree and I declare, I am the light of the world. I will show the people the way. I will teach the people what to do. You will lead me. I will lead them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O God. For you are my glory. And the lifter of my head. My head is lifted up. Above my fellows. My head is not bowed down in shame. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. A thousand shall fall by my side. And ten thousand by my right hand. My life is preserved in you. My life is preserved in you. You are my glory. And the lifter of my head. My life is hid in Christ in God. You, thank you for sending your angels. To bear me up in their hands. I will not dash my feet against a stone. No accident. No incident. No premature death. In the name of Jesus, my business will do well. The things I lay my hand upon to do shall prosper. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. By his name's sake, I am a success. I am not a failure. I am a success. 
I am not a failure. I am a success. I am not a failure. But eventually I am falling into the water. The water will not overflow upon me. For any reason I fell into the fire. The fire cannot kindle upon me. I have the mind of Christ. The wisdom of God is available. I'm coming out of this pit in the name of Jesus. I'm coming out of this pit. I'm coming out of this pit sooner than later. In the name of Jesus, a righteous man fallen seven times, but rises up again. Anywhere I have fallen, in my business, in my office, in my finances, anywhere I have fallen, by the hand of God, I come out of that pit now. In the name of Jesus, anywhere the devil brought shame to my family, by the hand of God, I shall be the deliverer. I come out and deliver my brothers and my sisters in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take one minute and round up the prayer for yourself. God has done it already. God has done it. As long as you can pray, there's always a solution to problems. Father, Lord, oh God, we yield ourselves to you. My thumbs are in your hand. My thumbs, our thumbs are in your hand. The sun shall not smart us by day, nor the moon by night. Lord, as we call upon your name, you answer us. As we beseech your face, oh God, you give us glorious things that we cannot explain. Thank you for the next level you are bringing us. Thank you for the peace of God that passes all understanding. Thank you for the joy of our salvation. Thank you for you have done all things well. To you be the praise and the glory forever, our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you, God. Thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It doesn't matter who has been crying, oh God. That tear dries up by the joy that you have brought our way. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Doesn't matter how long the night lasted. Now is the morning. The morning breaks forth with power. And the weeping dries up. We've exalted our own like that of the unicorn. Who have anointed us with fresh oil. And you said the enemy shall not exact upon us because of the anointing. Say, I have found David my servant. With the holy oil have I anointed him. Father, because you have anointed us, O oh God, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. These people, oh God, I'm joined my faith with their faith. I decree and declare they shall flourish like the palm tree. They shall flourish like the palm tree. They shall they shall still bring forth fruit in their own age. They will be great and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright and there is no unrighteousness in him in the name of Jesus. Everything they lay their hand upon to do shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless the righteous and with favor shall he encompass them as a shield in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, it is well with yours from now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for tonight and thank you for your people that you brought to church tonight and thank you for changing their status and changing their stories and changing things around them for good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Jump those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. If we still have a pause, can you give the Lord a shout?